realistically how much left is in Azulain's locker. Of course, anything is possible. The game could die the next Thursday. One nonsense change, that's 80% players gone. A good example, H1Z1. Oh, easy. But back to the question. I'd say Ozlan has still a bunch of things in its locker, and you don't need to stress that the game is near its end, especially with the roadmap for the UR ships, 4 per year and a rerun. One year being up to JP Ozlan's anniversary, which is around in September. With this schedule alone, we have at least two more years as ships like Yamato, Mushashi, Missouri, Iowa, Tiger, Dreadnought, and many more famous ships haven't been added. And Manchu does whatever Manchu want for the rarity of the ship, so a no-name ship could be a UR despite firing twice. And remember, that's just the UR ships. Azulain and Wargaming partnership is as strong as EA's and FIFA partnership, a long and a good era partnership that will eventually end but it's an era to remember. Due to this partnership, Azulain if needed, they can just throw out more known names into the game like Haida and the rest of the Canadian lots. Then on top of this, we have one of the most requested things for the game, obtainable and playable Siren characters. Will they get added? Who knows, but it's an option for Manchu to add, and this is why Azulain is pretty much in good hands. I don't know how they do it, but Manchu has a lot of plan Bs to bring the hype back to the game. Do an update players want equals happy players, happy players equals money. It's a simple formula, but yet there's so many game companies out there that don't quite understand it. We've seen Manchu and Yosta do a bunch of experiments on the game. Best example is this year, with the new rerun system, 2 times speed on event maps, and recently, quality of life research update. We've seen them take L's and learn that the community maybe doesn't want that ever again. And this is how you improve. Yes, there's a huge risk of that nonsense change slash update. But for Azul Lane, that nonsense change is like full-on censorship for all of the ship girls. And if a certain mistake gathers enough backlash, they will fix it or revert it back to normal without a doubt. Because they love this game and the community. But let's talk about when you should worry about the game's life length. Well, easy answer is when all the famous ship's names are in the game. That's when the sweat should start to drop a little. Revenue is also a good way, but the devs go hard and love this community a lot. So I wouldn't go and say revenue is the best way to find out the game's life expectancy but it's an okay way when not the best as it's Azure Lane. My biggest worry for the game is actually another game and that is Azure Velking made by Manju. I really hope that there's different workers as this could be the fastest record to burnout which will affect both games but only time will tell. So in short how long will Azure Lane last? Lads. Of course, CN and JP carrying us, don't worry. They've just collabed with KFC, we're good for another at least 3 years lads, we're good. 